Welcome back to another week of Eye of the Storm, a Guelph Storm podcast with myself, Ryan Drury, the voice of the Guelph Storm on Rogers TV. I'm very pleased to be joined by another member of the team this year, a guy who's really endeared himself to the fans with his hard-nosed style of play. Ryan McGuire joins me. Ryan, how are you, man? I'm good. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I appreciate you doing this. I know you're doing this on the road from uh, Erie, Pennsylvania right now. So a little cross-border chat between a couple of Ryans here. How's the season been going so far for you? Yeah, no, it's it's good. I can't complain. I, I love the team. Um, yeah, a bunch of great guys. Everyone's going pretty well. And yeah, I just love playing for Guelph. It's always, always good. Your team has played so well defensively this year. Everything's improved from last year. I know last year the team got off to a slow start, had a really good stretch run. This year you guys have been good right from the get-go. You're so good defensively. What's it been like playing on a team that just doesn't really give up too much and has played so consistently all year long so far? Yeah, it's good. We changed up our D zone a little bit from last year, and I think just everyone being accountable and buying into the system. Um, and doing their role, I think it, yeah, definitely benefits us in that standpoint. But yeah, um, it's definitely good. In terms of the coaching too, you know, Chad Wiseman takes over as the head coach last season, continues his role this year. Um, you know, what's your relationship been like with him? Because he seems to really trust your line and yourself a lot to go out there and create energy for the team, kill penalties, cause turnovers. What's your relationship been like and how has your game morphed under Chad? Yeah, no, uh, I think it's been good. Um, he can really rely on myself and our line to go out there after a goal or anything like that and get some energy back for the guys. Um, yeah, it's really whatever he needs. We can kind of go out and provide that. You know, you've been pretty consistently paired. I, I refer to you guys in the booth as the Terror Twins. You yeah. and Charlie Paquette have kind of been a consistent duo. Uh, we've seen you on a line quite often lately with big Vilmer Ulrichsen. Like, that's a lot of size and a lot of snarl yeah. on that line. What's it been like playing with Charlie and then adding Vilmer into the mix lately? Yeah, no, it's good. Uh, I love Charlie as a guy and obviously as a player too. playing with him. I find we uh, gel pretty well together and having Ricky there. He, yeah, that big body definitely creates space for us and uh, yeah, helps us out in the ozone and D zone too. You create a lot of space for people out there too. Like when you play, I, we were talking about it in the booth the other day. Like when you get on the ice, you play like you just drank seven Red Bulls. Like <laughs> it, it's just Full steam yeah. ahead, hard-nosed hockey. It's a lot of fun to watch. And like I said off the top, like the fans love it too because you're always out there creating energy. You never mm -hmm. cheat anybody for effort. Uh, like right. when did that become a big part of your game? Like did, was that instilled in you from a young age or did that kind of come later? No, I think it started from at home. Me and my brother always going at it. And then in minor hockey even, I was always just ready to go out and hunt. Um yeah, so I think that's been kind of engraved in me from for a while now. Um, yeah, I just like nothing more than going out and getting a big hit and sparking the bench up, get it going. Yeah. You've had a couple career fights as well, and you bought some yeah. pretty tough customers in the OHL. You know, what what's uh, what's that like playing that part of the game and bringing that aspect to the team? Because it's not an easy role. And, uh, I love it. Um, yeah, I find it gets me going, gets me more involved in the game when I have a little chip on my shoulder. Um, yeah, sometimes you lose some, you win some, but yeah, um, I, I personally, I enjoy it. I find it yeah, good, good way to get the boys going. If you're down, even if you're up, always gets it going. You're uh, well, you're usually on the, uh, the better side of things when, when that kind of <laughs> yeah. gets involved, well, I, I hope to be, yeah, uh, yeah. Sucks when you're not, but it's all good. Did anybody kind of teach you like the ins and outs of, of dropping the gloves? Cause I know it's, it's become a bit of a lost art, but was there anybody that, mm -hmm. you know, you kind of pick some tips up from in terms of that? Not really. Like me and the, me, Charlie and a few other guys in first year would always kind of go at it after practice and practice and stuff like that. But never really had anyone specifically teach me how to do it. I just kind of fended for myself after the first few learned some things, what I did wrong and, what I did well and kind of picked it from there. You know, you mentioned playing as a kid and, you know, learning all these habits. I, I know you're a Burlington native. Take us back to growing up in that area. It's been a great hockey hotbed. I'm sure it was a lot of fun to play your minor hockey growing up there. 
Yeah, no, it was great. I love Burlington. Um, I played there for nine years, so all the way from the beginning. I was actually the only one to stay the full nine years. So that was pretty cool to have that. And yeah, I love that organization. It's a great place to play. Yeah, a lot of time spent with the Burlington Eagles. And obviously, you know, when you think back on those times, I'm sure that there were a lot of coaches and a lot of people that pushed you to becoming an OHL player. Who are some people that you look back on that had a big impact on you when you were growing up? Yeah, I'll say uh, my coaches for sure. Obviously my parents. And then the guys on my team were all great. You got Keaton, Kai, Cody, my best friends from home. Um, yeah, they're always come to uh, pretty much. They, I don't know. They've been in a lot of games, actually. Uh, they come support me all the time. So, yeah, just all them, my brothers, sister. Yeah, so all them. Did you have a really athletic family growing up? Like, wh what were your parents doing in terms of sports, your siblings? Is it is it something that kind of runs in the family? Um, Not that much. My my dad was a good baseball player. I think my mom did like, swim. Um, and my brother played hockey as well. But, yeah, not not too big, but – yeah. In terms of becoming a member of the Guelph Storm, you know, obviously coming out of Burlington, I know you spent some time with the Hamilton Kilty Bees as well mm -hmm. in the GOJHL, which is a great league that I've covered for a long time. But as far as becoming a member of the Storm, like what was that like when you knew you were going to be a part of this organization and how's your experience been with the team and in the city? Yeah, I know it was, it was cool. My first year I got sent down to Hamilton for a little bit played I think 20 20 games or so there um then I got the call back when I was I was eating breakfast at Angels with Charlie and I got the call back and told that I was playing full-time so yeah it was great to hear obviously worked for it and yeah paid off so yeah it's like well it's been nothing like it's been great I love it here can't complain in terms of, you know, the way you play the game and maybe some people that inspired your style of play, um, you know, does anybody come to mind? Like, did you watch anybody maybe in the NHL or at the pro level that kind of inspired the way you like to play? Yeah, I always had like a Brad Marchand or like a Tom Wilson type guy. Yeah, getting can score, but also, you know, getting in the dirty areas and stuff like that. So, yeah, I always had them growing up. Yeah, something about that doesn't shock me much. That that yeah. kind of checks out, you know. Yeah. You got the missing tooth and everything. You look like a oh, hockey yeah. player. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's great. I wonder as well, just in terms of, you know, I've talked about this a lot with your teammates on the show so far this year. And I spoke with George the other day before the game against Sarnia. And one thing I've heard consistently from everybody is this is one of the closest most close knit groups that George and many of your teammates say they've ever been around. Like what is it about this group? That's so special. Yeah, it's definitely probably one of the, the tightest group I've ever been on. Um, I think it was just coming in the first year we had 13 first year players. So we all just kind of gelled well together being the new guys coming in. And since we were all first year, we're going to be here for a long time together. So I think that's kind of how it, really started and then ever since that just kept building you look at the leadership core on your team too and you know we had Braden Bowman on right after he got named team captain you've had a couple of them as well and I know he learned from the likes of Cooper Walker um what's he like as a captain just in terms of being a leader every night and wearing that C for you yeah no I think Bonesy was a leader first year and like last year too I don't think he needs the C to be a leader but yeah, no, he's a great leader. Always get, tries to get the, boy, the boys going. Um, yeah, always talking in the room, doing what he can to help out. Pretty big re-addition to the lineup, obviously, the other night with Cam Allen jumping back in yeah. there. And, boy. You know, Cam is uh, Cam's a pretty boisterous, energetic oh, yeah. kid. He's, yeah. he's a lot of fun to be around, and we loved hanging out with him when mm. he was watching up in the booth with us, but we were very yeah. excited to see him go back on the ice. What does his presence back there on the blue line do for a team like yours? I think just his work ethic is just the through the roof. Um, no one can match it. Um, yeah, having him back there scares kids. Um, yeah, being a good stay at home D, scoring a few goals too. I think it's gonna help us in the long run for sure. Nobody really wants to get in the way of that slap shot either, eh? No, That's uh, not at all. Bit of a, bit of all, a weapon yeah. for him. Yeah, um, no one likes that. 
Yeah, n- not at all. I, I want to ask you as well, just about your kind of game day routine. Like, are you, are you a superstitious guy? Do you have any like equipment stuff that you're really particular about? Uh, I'm not too superstitious. Um, we go to Angels every morning for pregame breakfast. That's, that's a must. It's a good spot. Um, yeah, great spot. Um, no, I usually, no, nothing really for gear. I wet my elbow pads before i don't know why um yeah i really say that's about it like kind of the same routine but nothing really special yeah okay in terms of the equipment you're using what are you rocking in terms of your skates and your stick setup what do you got this year i got the hyperlight ones the first pair um i have the ccm tax as my stick as well yeah okay i found that the Hyperlite 2s, they, they fit weird, so I just switched back to the Hyperlite 1s. Okay, fair enough. Okay, well, I was told the other day by Braden Hislop, who admitted to being very particular about his skates, and Tommy Budnick told me the same thing. He said he might be the worst guy in the league for switching his equipment up and grinding his skates down. Are you a guy that switches your skates up a lot, or do you kind of stick with one pair for a long period no, of time? Yeah, I stick with one pair for a long period of time, yeah. I think my pair, when I was coming into the league, I had for like four years already, and then they were time to go, so I switched. Yeah, I was going to stay in the pair I had first year, but they, they made me switch out of them, so. Okay, yeah. fair enough. So, yeah, you're not like Duncan Keith where you're putting on a fresh pair every no, night. No, 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 no. I could, I could use them for a while. Yeah, keep the fresh pair when I yeah. need them. Yeah. There you go. Uh, yeah. I, I've i talked to a number of your teammates about this as well. It's been a hot topic on this show. I've I I've heard... It. I've heard that there is uh, some pretty intense NHL rivalries that go on. And yes, I've heard that you're involved in this. Now, I've heard from a couple people that Braden Bowman is the best. I've heard from a couple people that you're the best. And I can tell you'd like to put in your two cents and set the record straight here. Go ahead. So, me and Bowman are the best. We'll say that. But if... If he if you talk to him one on one, me and him, he's saying I'm the best. He he's saying it. Okay. He knows it. He knows it. Really? We've had we've had our good battles, but I think I, I've got him more for sure over the okay. years. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Definitely have one more. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you're it sounds like you need to convince some of your teammates then, because no. I've heard they haven't from seen a few us play. People. Okay. Okay. They we, haven't seen the evidence. No, we were going to the Sioux uh or like uh, this year and I, I didn't lose a game the whole trip up. <laughs> I like it. I like the confidence. Okay. Well, so at some point this year, one of us has got to drag a PlayStation in and we've got to have a head to head. Cause I used to to be pretty good. I was in the top hundred players in North America at one point. Yeah. Then you'll probably beat me, but yeah, no, it'll definitely a good battle. Yeah. Yeah. You never know. I'm in for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll set it up. We'll, we'll get something together. We'll, we'll get it on film too. And we'll get Bonesy over We'll figure it out. Is there a particular team you like to use or do you just kind of go with whatever? We usually do randoms. Yeah. Three randoms and then death pick. If I would pick. My weird team is the Islanders. Okay. I I just like playing with them. Never really liked them, like growing up or anything, but yeah. Like Habs are my favorite team. But um, yeah, Islanders is my squad in NHL. Yeah, well, you know what? That makes sense because, you know, you just feed Matt Barzal and he can skate yeah. past everybody. Yeah, I can burn past them, yeah. Yeah, exactly. exactly. That makes sense. I would yeah. obviously, of course, use Washington. I don't Washington. know if that would help me this year. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, yeah. they're they're struggling a little bit. Yeah. I want to ask you as well just about, you know, the road trips and everything. It's probably one of the more fun parts about being in mm-hmm. the league and getting together on the bus with the boys. Like, are you a big music guy on the bus? Are you a show guy? Netflix? Is there anything in particular you kind of lean on? No, nah, I'm usually right in the mix with everyone playing cards, playing NHL, whatever. Yeah, I'm usually right in the mix. Don't really like to sleep or listen to music or anything like that. Yeah. All right, fair enough. Well, you're in the hot- you're in the hotel room. If you're gonna yeah. throw something on TV, like, is there a good show you've been attached to lately? Or, uh, I'm more a movie guy. I just kind of okay. throw a lot of movie. I see. I, I I don't really like getting into shows. Once I get into it, I'll watch it, but I I don't like getting into them. 
But yeah, usually just a movie, like take a movie and watch that one that I haven't seen. Yeah. Yeah, I I agree. I have a hard time picking up new shows. Mm-hmm. I just yeah. I rewatch old shows oh, that yeah. I know that yeah. I know are good. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather do that. For yeah. sure. Um, just in terms of movies, like, do you have any go-to favorites? If you can't find something, you just got an old favorite you like to throw on? Um, yeah, super bad. Probably be up there. Uh-huh. Uh, that's my boy up there. Uh, yeah, probably those two are like key ones I'd go to. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Craft, yeah. We're along the same kind of lines. Dumb and Dumber yeah. is my favorite yeah. movie of all time. Oh, yeah. So that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not bad. Yeah, um, yeah. I want to ask you as well. This has been a, a big topic too. And when I had Tommy Budnick on last week, he he said he's he's had almost enough of this. I know that your dressing room, music wise, big country room. You guys yeah, are a yeah. big country room. If you're in control of the sound system, what are you throwing on? I honestly only listen to country, so I would never see myself grabbing rocks okay. in that. Okay. Yeah, but if it were me, I probably would play country, but I, I would never go on ox like before a game or anything like that. Wouldn't wouldn't have the music for it. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Are you you got any particular favorite artists you like to throw on that are go tos? Yeah, I like uh, Thomas Rhett, Luke Bryan. Um. Yeah. Obviously, Morgan Wallen, Zach Bryan. Yeah. The stand, the standard big guys right now. They're yeah. they're doing pretty well for themselves. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. that's compare. all right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've asked all your teammates this as well, just in terms of if if the storm let you pick a custom goal scoring song, do any spring to mind? Hmm. No, I don't. Nah, I don't know. I don't See, have one on the top of my head. Here's here's the thing, Ryan. Like the way you play, I think you need like a heavy metal anthem. Yeah, wouldn't it be bad. Maybe I like... think you need like some Pantera or something when you put the puck in the net, <laughs> yeah. okay? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's a tough one. I I I'll 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 run it by you. I think you need some domination yeah. by Pantera, maybe block. <laughs> yeah. 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 Those wouldn't be bad. You got a heavy metal game, so I think that you yeah. should have a heavy metal song. That's <laughs> yeah, just my exactly. opinion. Yeah. yeah. That's just my opinion. Mm-hmm. I want to ask you as well just about your experience living in the city. I mean, I, I grew up right down the road from Guelph. Mm-hmm. I love the Royal City. It's such a great place to hang out, let alone play at mm-hmm. such a high level. I mean, you know, w- what's it been like staying in the city and just getting to drink it in? Because it's such a great place. Yeah, no, Um so my brother, went, all his friends went to Guelph and stuff. And then I knew Nico from home, Nico Dawes from home. So they were always talking about Guelph. This before I even thought about like getting drafted or anything like that when I was younger. So I always liked Guelph, never really been or anything. But once I found out I was getting drafted to Guelph, I was stoked. So yeah, it's been great. I love my billets. Um, just a lot, of, a lot of fun stuff to do around. Yeah, and getting 4,000 fans every night at the Sleeman Center is always, it's always a good show. So yeah, it's cool. Well, you helped put on a good show for those fans this year. Thank it's uh, It's been a lot of fun to watch you guys up in the booth. And obviously, uh, we're past the trade deadline. George brought in some new additions. You know, Brody Crane, Xander Vecchia, they fit in really well. You get Cam Allen back. Mm-hmm. You're going to get Bushy back probably before the playoffs start. Yeah. You look like a pretty deep team, and we all know how well you guys can defend and what your goaltenders have been up to all year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's this team capable of, Ryan? Yeah, no, I think we're going to have a good shot at going far. Uh, we got to fix fix a few things up here and there. But uh, I think, yeah, if we can get everything together, um, we're going to have a good chance at going pretty far. I agree, especially the way you guys defend. That's playoff okay. hockey. And yeah, I think exactly. you're what you – we already know you're well-suited to the playoff game. Yeah. I, I, I think you'll be a factor. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, I want to ask you finally as well. You know, I've asked all your teammates this too, and I've had a lot of interesting answers. I want you to put yourself in a dream starting lineup, and it doesn't necessarily have to be like NHL guys or whatever. But you're mm-hmm. going to put yourself in a in an NHL starting lineup. Who's on the ice with you? Couple forwards to play with, two defensemen, and a goaltender. Who are you throwing out there with you? Okay, and goalie, I'm going to go Ken Dryden. Wow. 
Yeah. That's a throwback. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. 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 Big Habs fan. Um, wing, I'll go with MJ, Michael Jordan. Um, I'll throw Conor McGregor in on the wing as well. Wow. So we're scrapping out there. Oh, I yeah. like this. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're going, we're, we're going. This is the most unique lineup I've heard so far. You're yeah. getting other athletes involved. Oh, yeah. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. Um, on D, need some skill in there too. I'll go Makar. And then, so Tiger and, yeah. Wow. Yeah, a good I, lineup. I like that you've gone outside of hockey. Yeah. I like yeah. that a lot. And yeah. I don't want to play that starting lineup. You and Connor McGregor no. going into the corner? No. no, thanks. Get our first shift in? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Be a line brawl every other shift. <laughs> yeah, I exactly. like this. Exactly. I think that's great. Well, dude, I, I got to tell you, you're you're so much fun to watch. Uh, Mark and I up in the booth, we, we love it when your line jumps out there because we always know we're going to see full throttle hockey. You guys yeah. are throwing your weight around out there. It's a lot of fun, man. So I, I want to thank you for coming on the show and Appreciate wish you all the success going forward. You guys are a fun team, man. So uh, don't take you. your foot off the gas. It's been a lot of fun, dude. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it, my friend. All right, that's it for another week here on Eye of the Storm. Remember, you can find this show on YouTube and all your favorite podcast apps. There's a link to it on the Guelph Storm website. And hey, if you want to come down to the Sleeman Center this year, get involved in the Guelph Storm party and watch Ryan McGuire throw guys into the end wall for the rest of the year. You can get tickets on the Guelph Storm website as well as the box office at the Sleeman Center. I'm Ryan Drury. We'll be back next week with more Eye of the Storm. (laughs) 